Good morning. Welcome to Children's Ministry at the Fort Bend Church. I'm Ms. Deirdre. It's prayer time. Let us pray. Dear God, please hear our prayer. We praise your holy name. We thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. Dear God, thank you for this day. We thank you for the Bible and our church. We thank you for our pastor and our parents. We thank you for our teachers and our friends. We love you, God, our Father. Dear God, help us to obey you and make you smile. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's stand and sing, This Is The Day. In today's Bible story, Elisha the prophet showed God's power by feeding bread to a crowd of people and by healing a man with a terrible skin disease. And we will hear about some men cutting down trees by the river when a heavy axe fell into the water and sank. We will hear what happened when the axe fell. Do you remember what a miracle is? Good answer. A miracle is a wonderful thing that only God or Jesus can do. In today's story, God showed his power by using the prophet Elisha to do mighty miracles. In the Bible, the book of 2 Kings comes right after 1 Kings. Both 1 Kings and 2 Kings are in the Old Testament, and everything that happened in these books happened long before Jesus lived on earth. Let's watch the Bible story, Elisha Performed Miracles, from 2 Kings. Hello everyone, Megan here, and this is Jesse. Hi there! Uh, Jesse, I have three items with me today, and I want you to guess what they all have in common. Oh yay, this sounds like a fun game. Okay, this is your first clue. Oh. A towel. Okay. Okay, and this is your second clue. <gasps> Mr. Clackers! Okay, and this is your third and final clue. Is that shampoo? 
Oh no, I don't have to take a bath, do I? Actually, we're going to hear a story from the Bible about a man named Naaman. He had to take a bath in the river seven times, but then something awesome happened. Listen to this. Elisha was a prophet to the people of Israel. One day, a man brought Elisha 20 loaves of bread. Elisha told the man to give the bread to a crowd. The man was confused because there were 100 men in the crowd. Didn't they need more bread? But Elisha said, the Lord says there will be enough. So the man gave the bread to the crowd and everyone ate. They even had some left over. Another time, Elisha healed a man of a terrible skin disease. The man's name was Naaman. He was the leader of an army. Naaman had asked the king of Israel for help, but the king of Israel said, am I God? Why does this man think I can heal his skin disease? The king of Israel could not heal Naaman. The power to heal comes only from God. Elisha the prophet called Naaman to his house. Naaman stood at the door ready to be healed, but Elisha didn't come to the door. Instead, he sent a message to Naaman, go wash seven times in the Jordan River. When Naaman went to the Jordan River and dipped himself in the water seven times, his skin was healed. Naaman went to Elisha and said, I know that the God of Israel is the one true God. On another day, Elisha met with a group of prophets at the Jordan River. The prophets were cutting down trees by the river. An iron ax head fell into the water and sank. So Elisha cut a stick and threw it into the water. The iron floated back to the top. Elisha's miracles showed that he was a prophet of the one true God. In a greater way, Jesus' miracles show that he is the true Son of God. Our Christ Connection tells us that Elisha's miracles show that he was a prophet of the one true God. In a greater way, Jesus' miracles show that he is the true son of God. Elisha was a prophet who loved God more than anything else. God showed his power through Elisha by performing miracles. God used Elisha to miraculously feed 100 people with 20 loaves of bread. Many years later, Jesus also fed a large crowd of people with only a few loaves of bread, but Jesus' miracles are different because Jesus is the Son of God. Elisha's miracles show that he was a prophet, but Jesus' miracles show he is the true Son of God. Many years after Elisha died, Jesus talked to some people about the verse we just read. In Matthew 22, Jesus quoted Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 and called it the greatest and most important command. Now repeat the key passage after me. Love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Let's sing the key passage song, Love the Lord, then our worship song.
It is so much fun singing the Key Passage song. I hope you sing it this week because it's a great way to remember our Key Passage. Elijah told the men to feed 20 loaves of bread to 100 people. Elijah said that God knew there would be enough. Later, when Naaman's skin disease was healed, he understood that it was the one true God who healed him. A group of prophets watched in amazement as Elijah struck a stick into the river and made an iron axe float to the surface. Only God has the power to make an iron axe float. God is pleased when people love him most of all. When people love other things more than God, it's called idolatry. Our big picture question asks, what is idolatry? I bet you know the answer by now, but let me tell you. Idolatry is loving something else more than God. For this week's Missions Moment, missionaries and volunteers in the United States help give medical equipment and thousands of care packages to healthcare workers and first responders as the COVID-19 pandemic began. They also provided meals in some big cities. The organization Send Relief provides medical equipment, cleaning items, supplies of oxygen, and food to areas needing help. Now let's close in prayer. Let us pray. God, thank you for the miracles that only you can do. Thank you that we can read about the miracles that proved Elisha was a prophet of the one true God. And thank you that Jesus showed he is the true son of God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Now work on your activity page with an adult. This week, I want you to pray for people to continue to find ways to serve others during difficult times like a pandemic. Remember, subscribe to the Fort Bend Church YouTube channel. Like and share this week's video. Have a wonderful week. Bye.